Hello Aries, I hope you're all doing well in today's reading, what we're looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. Very hard working, can be someone who is older or they have a lot of responsibilities. I'm getting someone who is very busy. They may be having one specific goal here in mind um, right now or around the time you meet. Uh, so it may be some creative project, some business deal, I'm not sure, but they're very it's almost like laser focused on this one thing it has to do with their finances and it's like they're almost there so that is what i'm getting just around the corner they'll be very successful i'm getting this is someone who is well known they're recognized they stand out from the crowd is what i'm getting with star i want more clarity about them all it's telling me is this person is very goal oriented and work focused someone who's very responsible This person isn't overtly optimistic and they're not really pessimistic either. This person's sort of in the middle. That is coming through. Why is Ten of Wands here for this person that Aries Singles will date next? The Lovers, Page of Wands. They may have a child, children. I was getting an older uh, energy from them. Why is Ten of Wands here for this person? Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Yeah, they have to pay child support is what I'm seeing. Be careful that this person isn't already committed. For a lot of you, I don't get that, but it's a general reading. So that is something you'll have to watch out for. But this is faded, Aries. And I have that with my homemade deck. But Wheel of Fortune, Six of Cups. It's almost past life. Why is the star here? Not every Aries is going to date someone who's married or who was divorced with children. What I am getting is that for a lot of you, there will be a strong physical attraction here. To the point it will be overwhelming for this person. Why is the star here for this person that Aries will be dating? Next. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, a very self-reliant, independent energy. Seriously, I'm getting strong Aquarius vibes. Nine may be their life path. They're very stable. Someone who's very protective over their family. This person is very dedicated. They're a family man, a family woman, whatever they identify as. I'm getting this is sort of the head of the family. People look up to them. They're well respected, not only in the community at large, but also in their you know, uh, family friend circle is what I'm seeing. They can be an entrepreneur, someone who has their own business. But yeah, you won't have to worry about um, this person leeching onto you in any way. They're their own person. They know themselves and they're very work focused. I love this person's energy so far, but we'll see. Right, we'll have to work our way through this. How you'll meet, we have Three of Swords. I did ask, when you'll meet, we have Knight of Pentacles. Do you know them? Page of Pentacles. So do you know them? I can interpret this in two ways, right? It's a general reading. Some of you know this person and you're, you're separated. So you will be coming together. Others of you, you know this person, you've never dated them. I don't even know if you've looked at them in that with a romantic lens here, right? This may be someone you work with, someone you went to school with, someone you knew when you were younger. It can be an acquaintance. What it's telling me is that you don't really know this person. So if you have met them, it may be just passing by briefly, right? That is the vibe I'm getting. And others of you, this long time coming, you've been manifesting this person. With Knight of Pentacles when? Um, that's the slowest moving night, right? So some of you, yeah, you may feel you know this person, but they took forever to ask you out on a date if you are someone who likes to be approached rather than doing the approaching, right? So they may be someone that is a friend. And others of you, yeah, this date, it's been a while. Perhaps you've been single for a while. I'm not sure. We'll see. The scenarios we have. So we have June here, but we have June 2023. We have this person will stalk you. I don't like using that word anymore. These I wrote a long time ago. But yeah, this person may gather some information 
about you before they approach you. I'm getting a very cautious energy in someone who is a planner. They don't like to involve themselves in, you know, messy situations or they're so very sordid, right? And they don't want anyone to come in and disrupt what they have going for them, right? So I do see them gathering information about you before they approach you. We also have you'll meet through someone you do not know yet. So if this does start off an, as an acquaintance, you may have a mutual friend, right? There's something here that's linking the both of you. You may not know who this energy is yet. We have this is a faded meeting. We saw that with the Wheel of Fortune, Six of Cups. We have in a group of people. So some group setting is coming through. Knight of Pentacles, let's see. I have this timing deck for you as well. When will Aries singles likely go on this next date? Do keep in mind, this is just for entertainment purposes. Timing is very difficult to predict in personal reading. And in general readings, it's pretty much impossible. So don't lose hope if you don't meet this person within this time frame. That is if they even give us a time frame. Sometimes the cards can be very stubborn. When will Aries singles likely go on this first date with this person? Next month. Wow. And we also have July bottom deck. When will Aries singles likely go on this next date? This year. We like that. Next month. This year. So it can be... <laughs> and we also have in your own time. Let's get one more. Stop waiting. So I'll leave this to you. If you've been waiting, they don't want you to wait. They're saying stop wasting your time. But I think it is a lot of you not too far. Next month, this year. So it can be May. May, June. I'm getting spring because we had June here. Ooh, that's exciting, Aries. Okay. Uh, this person's energy on this first date. We have the Emperor, Four of Swords, right away, 4-4, four, four, someone who's very stable. You'll really like that about this person. This can be someone, uh, Aries, that holds back a lot, which you'll notice. Someone who's likely to be more observant than they are. Um, they're a good listener. That is the positives, but yeah, a lot of observing, analyzing. I'm not seeing a lot of talking, more so listening, being the receptive energy. This person is likely to treat you very well. Emperor is a very respectful energy, right? Gentleman, gentlewoman. Um, if it's a more masculine energy, they are likely to... They have good manners, like pulling your seat out for you if you like that. Just doing things the traditional way. Um, someone who will be willing to spend money on you. They're doing very well financially. But they'll, yeah, it's a very chill energy. A little bit controlling um, in terms of how much they uh, give of themselves. But can be. Once you get to know them, they, they're very dominant. They know how they like things. And they won't have it any other way. Sometimes can be an energy who's not the most compromising is what you'll see but a very strong, dominant, masculine energy, man or woman, whatever you are looking for, this person's very strong, sturdy is what I'm getting. Very much power. <laughs> they exude confidence. And it's like a quiet confidence, not in your face or anything. Your energy, we have six of wands, eight of swords. You'll be really like enjoying yourself on this first date. I think this person will be listening to you. They'll be making you feel very special. It's almost putting you on a pedestal. Um, it's an ego boost here for you. You really find this person desirable. So um, you feel very happy to be have a chance to go on this date with this person. And that feeling is mutual here. But yeah, with the emperor energy, you may catch this person sort of staring at you. There's someone who's not the most expressive. Um, uh, their face so you may have a hard time reading them which is why eight of swords i see a little bit of nervousness here you'll 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 put a lot of effort into how you appear on this first date right you'll look your best i'm getting someone who's dressed very nicely you smell good you're looking like a perfect 10 
you have nothing to worry about. It's more so just your own fears here, right? Um, it's your mind getting in the way, but I don't think it has anything to do with who you are as a, who you are as a person or anything that this person is doing, right? So there is a little bit of a difference here in your energy. This person seems more calm, relaxed. I see you being a little bit more uh, nervous here. You do really like this person and they will want you to feel comfortable. But let's see, why is Six of Wands here? Clarify the Six of Wands for Aries energy on this next date. Fool, Seven of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, it's because... One second, let me get one more before I talk about this. Why is Six of Wands here? The world. Some of you may meet this person online. I'm getting the World Wide Web. You have other people that are vying for your attention around the time you meet this person. You're both coming through as quite guarded here, right? I think you're sort of approaching the situation like, oh, we'll see where it goes. Not really being set attached to any set outcome, which is beautiful, I think. But yeah, a little bit of nervousness, but overall you'll really enjoy this state is what I'm seeing. How they'll be viewing you, Ten of Pentacles. They really like you. Uh, you're exactly their type, um, especially if you're dating for marriage or a long-term commitment. I am getting for a lot of you a more serious vibe, so a lot of you are dating for a long-term, although how you're approaching this is more casual because it seems to be the getting to know each other stage, right? Which makes sense, but yeah, they'll see you as someone they can have a family with, um, someone that is worthy for a long-term um, you'd make a great long-term partner. They'll see your worth here, Aries, is what I'm trying to say. How you'll be seeing them, two of wands. You're seeing them at a crossroads. I'm someone who's a bit unsure, right? They know what they want, but when it comes to you, they're still a bit on the fence, and you are as well in your energy. So yeah, not quite made up their mind here for how you're seeing them. Some of them may be at a distance from you. Yeah. Two twos, indecisive. They have a decision to make. And others of you, you're seeing this person as someone you have a decision to make about, right? Because if I look at your energy after the first date, we have King of Cups, Two of Pentacles. You really like them. You have a lot of compassion for them with the King of Cups, but Two of Pentacles sort of up in the air. Two, two, two. Right? What do I want? Do I want this person? Do I want to go on another date? Uh, I'm, un I'm unsure what I want from this situation. So I see more uncertainty here in your energy. They also have their share of challenges if I look at the out, uh, their energy. We have four of cups, five of pentacles, three of pentacles. This person may be, if I look at your, keep your oracle cards in mind, they may have a fear of rejection here, right? They want to offer their love. They, they, Despite their emperor exterior, they do have a lot of insecurities. They hide them well, so you may not be able to pick up on it. And we also have the three of pentacles. There's three people here. That third energy can be someone who introduces you, right? Because we did have, you'll meet through someone you don't know yet. So a mutual friend, acquaintance, something. <laughs> But this person will have a crush on you. They'll want to approach you, but they're a bit intimidated. You're sort of on the fence here. You don't know what to do. Some of you may not. You've had a hard time reading them as well. But you have strong fears, anxiety in their energy. The potential outcome, we have Empress, King of Swords. This can work. There may be a slight age difference or a difference in maturity levels, but we have the Empress and Emperor here. This can definitely work here, Aries, is all I have to say. This is a match. It's a couple. This person may be more the masculine or energy king of swords, someone who sort of looks at all the facts before they make a decision. Empress is someone who sort of goes with the flow, right? That's your energy, not being really attached to any set outcome. Now let's look at your energies. Let's start with yours and then we'll do theirs. It's a you versus them with oracles. We have laughter here in your energy. So yeah, six of wands. This person perhaps shares a similar sense of humor. You'll really enjoy this date. They'll be giving you a lot of attention and they do. They'll make you laugh. You'll love that. 
similar sense of humor. We have butterfly feelings. That's the eight of swords. You give me butterflies and make my heart race. Yeah, your heart's beating really fast around this person. There's a little bit of intimidation. I don't know intimidation, nervousness, because you like this person. We have being charmed. I'm trying to put you under my spell. Again, look at them both. They're really enjoying each other's company. A lot of laughter here. That is what I'm getting from that. We have fear. Fear is blocking connection. Scared to take a leap of faith. Losing sleep due to fears. Okay, if you haven't met this person, I see you really being in the dark, especially with how this person's acting after the date. It's more so fears in their energy as well. So I'm giving you a heads up. So if they don't reach out right away, and they're going through their own challenges here. It has nothing to do with who you are. They were seeing you as the Ten of Pentacles, right? So that may be bringing out your worst fears or you're just scared to step out of your comfort zone. We have, I've tried to replace you, but no one compares to you. Yeah, this person will really stand out to you. And you will have other options, which is why I was seeing some confusion here. Two of Pentacles. Sometimes can be a decision between two, right? We have, I'm trying to sort out my feelings and make sense of it all. Yeah, another confirmation that you're uncertain about this person is what is coming through for whatever reason. Let's look at their energy. Let's start with this. We have text call. I love our banter over the phone. So some of you, there may be some distance here initially, back and forth. Text messages here. We have poker face. I don't want to reveal how I truly feel. That's the emperor energy. That stoic expression I was telling you. It's like a blank stare, blank face, right? Just an intense gaze. You don't know where you stand with this person. Do they like me? Do they not? I'm not sure. That is sort of what I'm getting. But this person holds back a lot. They're not the most emotional. That is why I feel the King of Swords is their energy. The poker face and King of Swords goes hand in hand, right? A guarded energy. Our great communicator here. We have fear in their energy as well. I see it. Fear of rejection. Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups. They're intimidated here. They don't show their more vulnerable, insecure side, but they, they have their challenges here as well. We have prove it. I've got 99 problems. That's that ten of wands. Not confessing unless caught. Determined to keep both. They are gaslighting you. What I'm being drawn to is not confessing poker face, not revealing much about themselves. We have determined to keep you both. They may have another option around the time you meet. You also are unsure about them. So it's sort of that casual dating phase, trying to find who's more suitable. That is the vibe I'm getting from this date. I'm afraid of expressing my feelings and have you reject me. My ego won't be able to handle it. This person can be someone who does have an ego with the emperor. I'm seeing a healthy ego though, I don't see major issues, but yeah, they did have fear here and we have, I'm afraid of expressing my feelings. So that may be why the stoic expression, you know, keeping themselves a bit distant or guarded initially. So that is coming through. We have, though I'm scared, I'm more scared to lose you. Interesting. We have fear, I'm afraid, I'm scared. That is the biggest challenge here between you and this person. Let's get some hints about this individual. Aries Singles. Who is Aries Singles next date? They can be a Sagittarius. Known as the teacher, yeah, emperor. Knowledge seeker, a bold, fiery sign and comfortable leading others. Yeah, this person's likely in a leadership position. They have followers. Some of them could be very popular on social media, but they're comfortable. They're comfortable being in a position of leadership. But when it comes to you, you're bringing out their worst fears. <laughs> we have giver. This type of person puts the needs of others first, establish healthy expectations around their generosity. But I don't think they'll need any. They have strong boundaries with the emperor. I don't think they'll have issues with that. Maybe with family, friends, they can be very generous. I was telling you that they may be at the uh, forefront within their family, friend circle, right? I'm known to be the responsible one. People sort of look up to this individual. So yeah, this can be a giver. They may have to provide for others financially. 
That won't be for everyone, but for some of you. Or they can be generous with their loved ones. Perhaps gift giving can be a love language, but they like to serve others. We have cancer. As I say that, they like to serve others, and we have cancer. Ruled by water, the sensitive sign is represented by the crab, whose protective shell shields them from overexposure. I was telling you, they have strong boundaries with that protective shell, right? They don't open up to just about anyone, but they take their time. It is a very, they appear as very strong, sturdy with that crab, you know, protective shell, but they're very soft, mushy <laughs> on the inside, which is why uh, Four of Cups, right? That fear of rejection. Yeah, I was telling you, they can be an entrepreneur. They have their own business. This is someone who puts their ideas to work. Sorry, this is someone who put their ideas to work for them. They may work hard, but are investing in their future. Star. I like this person for you, Aries. Who is Aries Singles next date? An Aquarius. And we have Aquarius here twice, actually. With a highly developed intellect, the sign is the pioneer of ideas. They are engaging communicators. I was telling you, I was picking up this as their energy. King of Swords. This person, if this goes further, which I see a lot of potential, there's a little bit of blockages here. They're all minor arcana. It's nothing major. But if you do overcome these challenges, I see this person treating you very well. Putting you on a pedestal treating you like the empress emperor you are giving you the respect you deserve they're very fair and honest energy with the king of swords look the first card to fall out financially stable who is aries singles next date divorced yeah i can see that and i was seeing that child support um, that is coming through this can be someone who's religious they pray who is Aries Singles next date? Sexy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was definitely seeing the physical attraction. Look, single parent. Going to grab what fell on the ground, but we'll get a few more. Who is Aries Single? Okay. Much older. So this energy is older than you. won't be for everyone for some of you we have shows empathy uh yeah but this person's not someone who good communicator they can be empathic but i don't know it's more so to their near dear ones i'm getting someone who is compassionate but maybe someone who has been taken advantage of right i see a lot of guards up here um so that may be what is going on because especially if they've come through a divorce, yeah, family problems. Family is a big theme here in this person's energy. And they're very supportive, but yeah, there's past hurts here that they're dealing with. But they'll show empathy to you with over time. Religious accomplished needs to grow up yeah i'm telling you they're not the most talkative more of a listener quiet needs to grow up accomplished religious needs to grow up i don't see that in their energy maybe a child with this page of cups someone that they need to support take care of that may be their focus Mm. they may have dark hair and eyes some of you will meet them online physically active so even if they are older than you Aries they're someone who works out and they take care of their body they do things in moderation so you won't see this person overindulging or anything too often with the emperor it's a responsible Someone who sort of follows a schedule is what I'm getting. But I think that's where I'll leave it. I don't see a bad energy here. I don't see the most positive energy, if I were to be honest. But I don't see a negative energy here either. Um, I do see some complications, but 
all relationships come with their challenges so it's nothing you both can't work through right because the outcome seems very promising here If this person has children, you'll be very nurturing to their child. This person's children will love you. If you have children, they'll love your children and others of you. You may have a child with this person, right? Empress is, you know, it's birth, whether it's, you know, this, this relationship, you're giving birth to this relationship is something you've manifested, right? It's a new beginning for you. And others of you, literally, if you want a family, they were seeing you as the Ten of Pentacles. We have children. We have pets, right? So you definitely can. There's strong potential for marriage here. If I look at your energy, Empress, Ten of Pentacles. But yes, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.